lots of guitarists get trapped in what I like to call the three fret prison. This is the stage where you find yourself strumming those same old open chords all day and night long. Lots of guitar players would love to know how to effortlessly play up and down the neck, don't even know where to start. In this video, I'm going to show you the easy way to escape the three fret prison and make your playing sound way more beautiful. Something a little like this. What I just showed you was two guitars playing the exact same chord progression. One who's learned his basic chords and how to strum, and another who's got a simple knowledge of the guitar neck from the top to the bottom. By learning a few simple tricks, you can learn how to play your favorite chord progression in a much spicier way. Enter the triad. A triad is a chord made of three notes. Most of the basic chords are triads. Take a look at your G chord. The first note is a G, which is the root note, and is always the name of the chord. Then you've got a B and a D, and the rest of the notes in this chord are actually just repeats of these three notes. So next is a G, and then another B, and then yet another G. So this entire chord is actually made up of just three unique notes, and you can actually do this for all of your basic chords. So if you take the three notes that make up your chord and play those in a different spot on the neck, you can play the same chord in a different position with a different sound. Turning this G. into this G. The chords you already know how to play are triads in the open position. You've got G, E minor, D, and C. Now each one of these actually has multiple places that they can be played on the neck. In this riff, we're gonna start by playing a G chord in this position. Then we're gonna to move to an E minor, then to a D, and finally to the C. Now you may have noticed that your fingers stay in the exact same shape when you're playing the D and the C chord. This is because these triads work in shapes. The guitar neck lays out beautifully for us so we can make these amazing sounds without having to remember too much. So here's what you do. The first thing to do is learn your triad shapes. Here are four basic shapes that can be moved anywhere on the neck. These are all taken from bar chords, but they're a secret hack because they're much easier to play. So let's go over them. All you need to remember is the shape and the string the root note is on. We're going to do two major chord shapes and two minor chord shapes. Here's your first major chord form. With the root note on the fourth string. Then our first minor chord. with your root note on the first string. Then your second major chord, with your root note on your fifth string. And then take the pinky off and put the second finger on for your second minor chord form. With your root note also on the fifth string. Let's try this on the first shape. Here you're playing a G chord. This is because the string that your root note is on is playing the note G. To turn this into other chords, you simply just follow that string, and whatever note you're playing, that's the chord name. This is a G, this is an A, a B, a C, and so on. 
If you want a diagram of all the notes, chord shapes, and tabs in this video, you can get them by subscribing to my Patreon in the description of this video. And this works the exact same with the other shapes. Just follow the root note. Here's your first minor shape, and this is a G minor with your G on the first string. That's an A minor, B minor, C minor, and so on. Now let's get back into our super cool song from earlier, written by me. Oops. So, in the first section, we play a G, E minor, D, C, and then back to D. And then, in the second section, we're going to play a G, E minor, D, C, and then back to D. So for the first section, I'm playing a nice finger-picked rhythm. I'm going to start on that E minor chord, and the rhythm's going to sound like this. A little slower. So that's thumb, thumb, second, thumb, first, thumb, second. And then all I'm doing really is repeating that for each chord. So starting from the G. And then halfway through, you're going to switch back to the D. Then moving into the second section to add that contrast and have a higher, more lively sound, we're going to switch to strumming, and the strumming pattern is going to be like this. So a little slower. So you can use my strumming pattern or something similar or create your own. And that's really the point of music is to make it your own and explore your creativity. So try something out and see what you like. So one of the coolest things about these triads is having these different shapes opens up different fingers that you don't necessarily have available in the open chords, which gives you a whole bunch of options of tasty, spicy little extra things that you can add to your playing. So what I'm actually playing here in this riff is based on that finger picking pattern, but I've got a few little variations. So I'm actually, in this G chord here, adding on a low G with a thumb or with a bar form, whichever one you find easier. But that's the same as this fourth string G here, and you can interchange that with the rhythm to give it a more bassy sound. And this triad leaves the pinky open to do a spicy little transition where we slide that pinky up to the eighth fret and then we grab that even minor shape. So you're starting from there. So then we're gonna play that finger picking rhythm on the E minor. And weirdly enough, that still leaves this pinky open for a nice slide up to the 12th fret and then back down to the D. And then this last little one, this is tricky. You don't need to do this, but if you want to try something advanced, try a little half stop slide here. Seventh to the eighth, back to seventh, and then down to the fifth. And then grab that C chord right there. And then a full three note slide back up to that D chord, which is the same shape. So all together.
Then moving to the second part, just a few little things to add. This first chord, this G, what I'm doing here, just to make it a little bit more interesting, bar there, and then doing some hammer-ons with your second and third finger. So I hammer on with both these fingers at the same time. And then when you're moving from this G up to the E minor here, I actually like to add on this third finger on the fourth string to fill it out a little bit more because just these three strings, this high up sounds a little bit high to me. So I like to add a little bit of a mid range note in there. And this is actually an E. So this fits in with our E minor chord. And you can see how with this, you can change and create your own triad shapes just by following the notes of the chord. Then from there, all I'm doing from here is partway through the rhythm, adding this pinky on and off. And then playing the D and the C are just this shape, just strum normally, nothing special or fancy, but they sound super nice together. And that's all there is to it. This is just one example of how triads can completely change your playing. This allows you to play the same chord progressions and same songs you already know, but in a different position so that it sounds different, but it'll still sound good because you know you're in the same key. This allows you to improvise and create. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below. It really does make more of a difference than you think. Again, you can get tabs to all of our videos, including this one, by subscribing to my Patreon and the link in the description below. And, and I'm proud to announce we have officially launched our Mastering the Guitar program. It contains over 400 organized videos taking you from the absolute beginning of learning guitar to being a master guitarist. I promise you that if you enjoy our videos, you will gain a ton of value from this program. It's going to take your playing from wherever you are now to the next level. On top of the more than 400 organized videos, you're also gonna get direct one-on-one -on -one live lessons online with myself and my team, and we're gonna guide you through wherever you are on guitar and look at your personal goals and your personal issues and work with you to make sure that you see the maximum progress and results that you're looking for. This program brings together all the courses and everything we've created over the last three years, and I promise you, if you like our YouTube videos, then you'll gain a ton for this program. So check that out in the description below this video, and I hope to meet you inside the program.